Happy New Year, fellow bow hunters. Uh, it's been a heck of a year without 2022. <laughs> Hope 2023 is better. But uh, this is the future of bow hunting. I uh, love the Don little Donnie man. And I hope you all are blessed with children or grandchildren to bring him along. And uh, what do you think about bow hunting? It's pretty fun, bud. Yes, I have a joke. Oh, you got a joke? Okay, tell me the joke. What class does a snake take? What path does a snake take? What no. class does a snake take? What what class does a snake take? History. 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 Get it. Oh, history. history. Oh, is that the class? Well, that's a good joke for our follower, follow, uh, followers. Anyhow, uh, I really appreciate your uh, comments on. The AFib event that I had the other day kept me out of the woods today, but uh, you know that's that's what you want to make sure you every time you go to the stand, you don't know if it may be your last time. So enjoy it, you know throughout. Uh, you never can go to a deer stand and not see something new. Sun coming up, sun going down, it's never the same. But anyhow, have fun, and uh, Deb's going to do the drawing here for, for the. Uh, product and uh, it's hard to keep a little wiggly. He's a little wiggle worm. But anyhow, I'm gonna let Deb take over from here. Let's get this show on the road. So, little Donnie, reach in the bag and grab out an egg. Just, just reach in the bag. Okay. A hundred dollar bill goes to CJ Kowalski. Congratulations, hundred dollar bill. Oh, that one. Oh, is that two? What's, what was this? Oh, I took a thousand names at once. I know. <laughs> I took half of the entire bag at once. Okay. This is for the Go Hunt vest with battery. Hopefully, these people follow through with this because they told me they were going to do it and then they haven't communicated with me since then. Um, so this is for, this is my best, they said they'd send you one directly. This one goes to John, I think it's Leggy, and uh, there you go, there's your best, here you go. Next, what do you think we should give away? Let's go with the hats. Let's go with the hats? Yeah. Okay, the hat, one of these non-typical hats that I made, goes to Don Sliger. Congratulations, Don. And if I say your name wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from Iowa. <laughs> well, give me another name. And this one's another hat. It goes to Matt Denny. And Deb handmade all these hats. Yep. Oh yeah. This one, this hat goes to Peter Sherman. Um, Good one. Grab one. Yeah. Wait, what? The I don't animal. know what this is. What's this? Well, I think they just wanted to ride a fancy. I don't know. Here, put those in there. Sebastian Cruz gets a hat. Hope you like the hat. Don't look in there. You push this grab one. Cause you can't read anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. This is Jody. He gets a hat. Humala, he gets a hat. I know. This one. This Jacqueline Cruz. She gets a lady's hat. There you go. Pick another name. Holy, another long one. I don't know. 
Brandon says that his girls would like a lady's hat. So Brandon gets a lady's hat. All right. Another Brandon. And he says that he doesn't, he would like a hat, but he doesn't want a lady's hat. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, I thought your name and I accidentally missed that. I'm so sorry. This one is Blake Glasgow. Congratulations. Congratulations. He's got a hat. And... Chicken -oos. This one is Bailey Klingon. Bailey, I think, is a girl, so she's going to get a sparkly women's non-typical hat. Sparkly? Sparkly. <laughs> Angie Dillon. And she gets a, a pink non-typical hat. There you go. Grab some more. Danielle Meyer, she gets a sparkly non-typical hat. And Jennifer Henniker, she gets a pink non-typical hat. Well, I'm glad you got some women's names here. Jamie Skidmore gets a non-typical hat. Randy Klingon gets a non-typical hat. All right. And Jim Sensenbrenner gets a non-typical hat. Oops, axe only two. Okay, now, what are we gonna give away now? I want to give away some blankets. No, well, these are these are head nets. Oh, well, that's cool. They don't want it gets cold outside. Wait, I like the skulls. They're ghostly. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> ghostly. There's two of them. So who gets one of these? Katie Gorsick. Hope you like them. Hope you like it. Got this one. This one is Tate Gore. He gets a head net. Okay, oh, wait a minute, put that back in there. We've got to figure out what we're giving away next. Don's got to tell us what we're giving away next. We're going to go to the Whitetail Institute. Okay. They've always been generous with the number one. Here, okay, I'm reaching going the bottom. North America. Pull out a name. I'm going to the very, very bottom. Okay. Because someone might have had a not very lucky chance. That's right. This is the one the right in the middle at the very bottom. Uh, she doesn't have food plots, so. Who doesn't? Rose. Okay. I know this gal. She doesn't have food plots. Well, I'm so we'll put her, her back in. Okay. You want to give her a whistle? Yeah, give her a whistle. Okay. I mean, she, she drew her name. Yeah, it? I drew her name. She, she said, yeah, she said, I'll take a hat, but the hats are gone. Okay, go grab some more. It was an accident, okay? Yeah, ooh, this guy wrote a whole bunch. We love to work in our food plots. So they have food plots. Super. What would you like to give him? He has food plots. The Whitetail Institute Clover? Because this guy actually says, I have, I, we love to work on our food plots. So we'll give him a food plot. Sometimes he gets, sometimes those the number one food case, plot like product in the world, right there. Invented by the late Ray Scott. The only one. Okay, Jordan, only one. Put it back. Jordan Franco. Can we give him the 30 out six? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
because he didn't say that some states they can't have it, but he doesn't say anything, so. Okay. You you can have the imperial minerals, you just can't hunt over it. Yeah. Well, in Iowa, I don't know about other states. Uh, Ryan Bushkey. Want to give him the tall time tubers or? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. This is one of the best wintertime food plot sources you can get. Uh, it'll draw deer in all year long, right into the season. So, that's, that is a good choice. Well, this guy's name is Mark C. He's going to get right. some white tail clover. Well, we got that. And the nice thing, Mark, about oh, this who, uh, seed, Wait. if you do it properly, this is a, up to a five year a perennial, not an annual. And, buddy, I'm going to tell you something. There's nothing that draws white tailed deer, hen, and turkey any better than an imperial white tailed clover. They are number one for both animals the turkey and the deer. Okay, this goes to Drew Crosser, a bag of White Tail Institute clover. I got another name. But, out of that, that clover done properly, follow the instructions, you will have excellent results. This is uh, White Tail Institute. Soil test kit goes to Ethan Chadwick. Congratulations. And this is another thing that you all don't understand. Just because it's dirt, not all dirt is created equal. You have to test it. They get this back in very short time. They tell you, you tell them what you're going to plant. They will tell you the amendment and the amount uh, needed to bring that soil online because all soil no matter where it is will become acidic over time so use this to get your best results okay and the other lab soil test goes to John Blackie and here's John Blackie John I hope you can use this and like I said you're probably familiar with the purpose of it but uh, Modern day agriculture, whatever, all have to run soil samples and food plots are no different because you want to get the maximum tonnage per acre and this is the first step to do that with your soil sample. It's just like when you go to the doctor, he just don't start shooting you up, he takes your vitals. That's what Whitetail Institute does, it takes the soil vitals and tells you how to bring your heart rate online your temperature online and so on. That's exactly what this does okay. and it tells you how to bring your soil online. Now the next thing we're going to give away is I got four pairs of camouflage safety glasses. And first one goes to Ed Mickus. Ed Mickus. Oh, that's, that's a familiar name in this household. <laughs> it's right along with John Blackie. It, uh, and it, you know, when you're cutting those trees down and chopping the wood and chainsawing, it's nice to have those safety glasses on because it could ruin your deer season in a heartbeat. So, congratulations, Ed. Next glasses go to Denny Pry. Denny Pry. That's uh, glad to be able to help and keep in your per person safe while you're, you know, mother flower robes whack you in the face. You, you know, it, you never know when you're going through those briars, especially even when you're antler hunting. This is Bob Parker. Gets a pair of camouflage safety glasses. Okay, little Donnie. Here, you said you want to give them away? Right, yeah. All right, Bob Parker. Here you go. I'll get you. And like I said, there's many uses for these glasses in the woods. 
because it only takes one flick of a stick. <laughs> that can put you out for the day. The oh. last pair of safety glasses go to Wayne Simmons. Congratulations, Wayne. It's really nice to do this for fellow hunters. We're not seeking monetary gain, personal gain, or whatever. It's the contributors that give us that we help promote bow hunting and hunting. You know, it's not gun hunting if you choose to go whatever way you go. Some of these names are in twice. Um, we're going to give away this Power Rad Pro portable charger that you can charge your phone or if you have one of these vests you can charge that vest they, 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 they'll charge anything you want to and it's, this one will tell you how much it's charged it goes to Michael Briggs Michael Briggs and I want to tell you a little, a little story about electronics back in 1992 I took the class of bow hunter uh, safety instructor national bow hunter instructor and I'll never forget, that's back when they had the old brick phone. And I mentioned that that could be a safety item on your person. And I was laughed clear out of the classroom with mentioning taking a cell phone to the field with you. Now everybody in, in, in the whole world has changed. But that's what, you always got to be thinking ahead of the curve. And you may be laughed at at times because of your... Uh, motivation and your imagination because you're ahead of the rest of the crowd but that's what makes you a leader but I'll never forget when I mentioned to bring a cell phone to, to take it with you in the woods everyone in that classroom laughed thought it was a joke to take a phone now the DNR and everybody that's involved in archery and safety advise you to take some kind of communication wireless communication it shows you how times change Okay, next we're going to give away two of these Bigfoot Bushcraft Survival Kits. They're really great. And the uh, first one goes to Zane Odd. Jane? Zane. Yeah. Zane. Yeah. Okay. This is really Zane. That, you know, you never know where you need safety at. If you get broken leg or something like that and you need to get warmth, right there in your pocket and uh, cause hunting with a bow and an arrow or just hunting in general you never know where the, that adventure will lead you to and what no bigger than that that's a lot of BTUs that'll warm you up congratulations and the last survival kit goes to Victor Hebert or I think that's how I, we pronounce it okay here you go Vic Congratulations, and like I say, that don't take up much room, but what the comfort and safety that offer you is unsurmountable, and it's really easy to use, and it puts out the heat. Whistle goes, a survival whistle goes to Taxidermy Dave. Taxidermy Dave, survival whistle, something really simple. Battery goes dead on your smartphone, your cell phone, whatever. You got your whistle. I knew a gentleman Brian Pointdexter years ago, he had a whistle, and that's what saved his life, was he was using that whistle, and the farmer could hear him, uh, but these are a necessity, and you can laugh at them as a toy, but I'll tell you what, if you need one, that's your communication link, so congratulations, Cooper. And we also have a mug. One last mug from Red Master Outfitters in KC. Well, he's actually from Casper, Wyoming, but he hunts in KC. Um, and it goes to Austin S. Austin, there you go. You got a mug. One of the most yeah, finest, the honest outfitters much. in the business today, Chuck Kerritton, out, out of KC, Wyoming. Uh, if you, I don't know how many people from Iowa what, hunted with Chuck Kerritton for the first time and brought back the first antelope from out west. This is the man right there, Chuck Kerritton. We've given away all of our gifts and congratulations to the winners and I'm sorry if you didn't win something but better luck next year. Um, 
uh, you have a happy new year. Hope 2023 is a good year for you. And, uh, and hopefully we'll have a good year too. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll see you on down the road. My biggest goal in life is to get this little man, a big man, a white-tailed deer on the ground. And we're definitely going to do a lot of small game hunting with the, after the squirrels and the rabbits. It's not all about deer, but little Donnie really wants to get a squirrel. So hope in 2023 we can get him on a squirrel with his bow. So hang in there and just remember, you never go to the woods and come back without nothing. Uh, because every time to the woods, you'll see something you've never seen before. Sunrise, sunsets are never the same. And you never, never know what could be walking down the trail toward you or away from you. But make sure every opportunity you get to go, go. Well, that's it from the non-typical and uh, my little buddy. And we're going to be in the woods next year. It only takes that long. <laughs> It, uh, so, congratulations to all you winners. Out of all the people, this lady right here is what made this happen. She works continuously. I, I mean, hours after hours, late at night, making these hats, organizing and all this. And she does it to help you, not her, because she's not a selfish lady. So, a big shout out to Deb. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Scared him after Deb. <laughs>